Well, I woke up to go get me a cold pop. And then I thought somebody was barbecuing. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. <laughs> then I ran out. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life. And then the smoke got me. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Tell me about the whistles. The whistles go, woo, when you want to woo, woo. It's that woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? Then you got the flows. They didn't trip off the flow, man. That, that decoration, man. It's just yeah. for decoration. That's it. That's all, man. We do it for decoration. They're they funny, car. man. Yeah, they, I got it on my car. It was even in, even in their, their wicked-ass folly, Some neighbors are they make the Lord laugh. That's only dude. in the morning. Because we up cooking breakfast for somebody. And so that's like an alarm clock. Woo-woo! <laughs> How's it feel to get the power restored? It's been five days, hasn't it? You know what? It's, it's eight. I'm so glad the power come back on because I was burning up. Lamasa Pace well, you know what? said she was this thrilled is heartbreaking to see all at the, the same power time, trucks man. rolling down it's like, their street, look, 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 look at Esau and the other the nations have done to our people. With, the, with them cherry pickers and all them crew. I said, I, you said hallelujah. I go like hot dogs. See, and that, that reporter is thinking that's a proverb, How man. Fuck that cracker. Tonight? You bet I'm going to sleep like a baby. Drink me some good old Kool-Aid and drink me some some cool big jug or ice or Kool-Aid and go to sleep like a baby. Kelly Dodson was See, a man, they trained us to be entertainers, man. On Webster Drive like Kurt Cobain said it best, feeling stupid and contagious. From out here in the it's sad. He tried to write me. It's he like, tried to pull it's my like laughing to the point of crying. Obviously, we have a rapist this is climbing in your a windows. Antoine said, people Antoine said, Antoine said, he's an Israelite now. I don't bother to wife, look into that. Because they raping everybody out here. I mean, is he, is he behind. rehearsing the righteous we acts? I have no idea. No, you are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. You don't have to come and confess that you did it. We're looking for you. We, we gonna find you. I'm letting you know now. So you can run and tell that. I meet my McDonald's. See, this is what else they do. I, uh, come outside. Who's to say we ain't allowed to have uh, the females run up into our arms, man? Yeah. When so your Lord I and Savior is the so-called Negro. I go on the porch, and she says, help me get out. I've been, I'm, I've been in here a long it's time. It's a good story, but and this like guy said, neighbor, this guy has Stockholm got, Syndrome, and he hates his own people. Pull this off, bro, because we see this dude every day. I mean, every day. Hey, how long have you lived here? I've been here a year. Okay. You shouldn't come up wrong. Right. I, Barbecue with, with this dude. We eat ribs and, and whatnot. And listen to salsa music. You see coming from? Eating pork. And you had no indication that there was anything. Hey, bro, not a clue. What was your reaction on the girls' faces? I can't imagine listen, to see the sunlight. It's fucked up. I knew something was wrong when a little pretty white girl ran into a black man's arms. Something is wrong here. Well, something's wrong with him because that's <laughs> like what <laughs> half of the chicks out there. Give away. Thank you very much for your time. And either she homeless or she got problems. That's the only reason why she ran to a black man. Charles, thank, thank you for being there, man. Curiosity and he even slapped him with his pink hand. That's fucked up. Community. Many of you bring binoculars, this is cameras, hilarious. even camera phones to take pictures. To me, it looked like a leprechaun to me. All you got to do is look up in the tree. Who else in the leprechaun say yeah? yeah! See, Jake knows how to supplant right, even the news the team. The leprechaun only comes out at night. Right. If you Yikwa shine a light in its means direction, supplanter. it suddenly disappears. This amateur sketch resembles what many of you say the leprechaun looks like. Others find it hard to believe and have come up with their own theories and explanations for the image. My theory is it's casting a shadow from the other limb. Could be a crackhead that got home to the wrong stuff. And it told me to get up in a tree and play a leprechaun. We're going to get down to the bottom of this. This is funny because yeah, he mentions... This flute got passed afraid, down man. from his ancestors in Ireland, which Ireland was ruled by Negroes. The leprechaun. He suited up from head to toe. So called Negro. This war is all spells right here. This is a special leprechaun flute, which has been passed down from thousands of years ago from my great great grandfather, who was Irish. <laughs> I just came to help out. Others just came to get right. lucky in hopes a pot of gold may be buried under this tree. I want the gold. I'm on the back hole and hunt root that tree. I want to know where to go. Like, me too. I want to go. Give me the go. I want to go. Man, them chokers was big. Size of a quarter dog on. Many said it sounded like nothing they've too. ever heard before. 
It's a kapoya, kapoya. And that's exactly what it's going to sound like when you two thirds and other nations receive your judgment with fire and brimstone. I took off running, ran to my restroom, and then I called my mama to see what she all right. Kapoya, kapoya. I ain't no robbing type of person. Now this. This, I felt bad when I first saw this. I feel bad for this brother because this is a good example of, uh, you know, the cries that are going to be heard by the angels in the Most High. All right. You know, if he's truly innocent, you know, this news shouldn't be broadcasting this young blood's face everywhere. All right. He shouldn't be doing that. Okay. You know, no matter what it is, what his record is, they shouldn't be exploiting him like this. So this devil's going off again. I wouldn't do nothing to no innocent man. I've been robbed. I've been pistol whipped. They got that on file. I'm innocent. I ain't do nothing. I don't know what's going on. All I know is my side of the story. I can't tell no other story. I'm innocent. Hey, mama, I love you. P.O.P. Oh, the dad. Fight these all good pimps for her, baby. For life. And that's sad, man. That's heartbreaking. He, 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 who wants to be in the back of a freaking squad car? Surveillance tape is catching a routine morning at this gas station on Bannister until chaos erupts. I was putting one more tap of coffee in my coffee cup, and out of the corner of my eyes, I saw two guys come in, one with a black hoodie. Now, this lady right here in this story, you'll notice that uh, I don't know, there's a robbery going on, and she calls uh, to make sure... She says, hey, me amigos, she's calling for Joseph because even this woman here, naturally, and this is so prophetic, man, it's prophetic, she's calling out to the Israelites, right, in a, in a bad time, y'all going to come looking for the men of the Lord. One with a white hoodie, and the guy with the black hoodie said, don't look, so I don't, and so then I'm thinking, count to 2000 again so i did and then i go me amigos me amigos nobody said nothing i'm like oh my god they're dead i mean these these interviews were taken a few years ago and and the fact that the lord had these people be interviewed means that he's trying to show the rest of the world to broadcast it that these people are a product of this fucked up society. They're all bugged out. You know, they could give a fuck. Um, and their stories, they're chaotic, man. You, you know, you couldn't even write some of these things. Um, I know that's not going on TV, but it's true. It's true. I'm not here to lie to you. Um, I was trying to get a hold of him because I couldn't identify the business that window got blown out and I was trying to help the police figure out who to contact to secure that poor business. I haven't been allowed to drive for three years, so I am not a good judge of that. Anything else you want to add about what you saw? You want to see my tits? <laughs> Louie? I was in the passenger side of this fucker's car, and he comes over on there. He was over by the recycling center. He says, oh, when I was in the Virgin Islands, 30 years old on a business trip, I, 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 uh, I, I fucked this 14-year-old. I was like, you what? He's like, I raped this 14-year-old. He starts crying, gives me a big hug. He's like, fuck, 300-pound guy. I'm like, oh, shit. He must be fuckered, man. Like, what's he talking about? I didn't take him seriously at first. He comes driving down this way. He's like, you know what? I come to realize I'm Jesus Christ, and I can do anything I fucking want to. And... Watch this, bam, and he smashed into this fucking guy right there, pinned him in between that fucking truck, and so, I fucking, I hop out, I look over, the guy's pinned there, I mean, like, freight train riders know this, like, if you get pinned between something, do not fucking move that shit, otherwise you bleed out, like, motherfucker, I, I ran in, I grabbed the keys, he's fucking sitting there like nothing even happened, and like, fucking, like, man, if you started driving that car around again, man, there would've been a hell of a lot of bodies around here, Fuck it, I hop on out, and so I grab the bag, I threw it over by that pole right there, and then fucking Buddy gets out, and these two women are trying to help him, he runs up and he grabs one of them, man, like a guy that big can snap a woman's neck like a pencil stick, so I fucking ran up behind him with a hatchet, smash, 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 yeah, dude, who else are, is going? These people, man, these people, dude, I mean, they're a product of their society, you know? 
and it's like uh man it's like that game sims simulator which you know that little diadem above your head you know they got that from the angels a wheel within a wheel wherever the creature went so did the uh so did the wheels um anyways you know this was taken sometime in the 90s and he's complaining about something and you know, I think a sidewalk or something and you got the elite and you got your surfs like this Billy do good right here and then you have the rest of the peasants who is walking there but who else I don't how bad they are why don't they just walk the gutters it ain't a far walk it's just 38 miles why don't you walk why don't you walk the gutters I'll walk, yeah, I can walk the gun. Why don't you walk the gun? I don't need to walk the gun. Well, shit, no, you don't. You gonna put everybody else walking the gunner. Why don't you just walk the gun? Alright, I'll walk the gun. Alright, let's go. Alright, hang on. Let me do this. He sound like my neighbor, man. His accent's just like my neighbor. He's a good dude, too, man. And he has scriptures posted in his house on his door panel. You first meet him, I mean, you know, he's got a lot to learn, like everybody else does. But, uh, uh, <laughs> the sword of the most high is definitely double edged. So, Esau, man, get ready to just be surprised. How about splitting that ass? You be so goddamn fucking tired. By the time you get to New Hope, you won't be strutting that ass. You'll be so goddamn fucking tired by the time you get to New Hope that you won't be strutting that ass. You'll be. What's made you, what's got you so mad today? Me? Yeah. Because everybody wants to run. Everybody wants to run. That's good. Run from here to Gunners. Well, I'll walk. I'll be right behind them and see how far they can run. It's a chauvinistic pig attitude that you're going to do something because you work at the Arsenal and you got a fucking Mercedes Benz and you ain't got to walk every day so you're going to get out and strut that ass, strut that ass, strut that ass, strut that ass, strut that, that ass. When you start walking, my friend, and you get 10, 15 miles on the highway, you won't be strutting that ass. You You'll be point. half dead by the time you get there. <laughs> so it's a showing this pig attitude that Clinton's got Strut that ass, strut that ass, strut that ass, strut that ass. And when you walk about 15 or 20 miles, you won't be strutting that ass. <laughs> You'll be so fucking tired, you won't be hard to hold that ass up. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and that was in the 90s, man. This place is ate up. This place is toast, you know. You ain't gonna find no picture of the Virgin Mary on that. And the leader of an area radical Christian group attempted to publicly set fire to the Islamic holy book. He snuck up behind him and took his Quran. He said something about burning the Quran. I was like, dude, you have no Quran, and ran off. 